This is Pioneer Field Agronomist Scott Eversgard with a week of June 27th weekly agronomy report. From a corn standpoint, the recent hot dry weather has definitely put a damper on corn growth. The final effects, how this will affect yield, uh, obviously will not be determined here for a little while yet, but we did have a good portion of the crop in between that V8 and VT stage, which was actually trying to determine ear size. So with some ear side determination going on, there is the outside chance that we could have knocked some yield out of this corn crop. Again, when the rain finally comes and how much we get and what the temperatures are after that, we'll all determine how bad the effect may actually be. As far as the fungicide component of that, as we're really nearing that fungicide application timing, we really like to look at is getting that application on around VT or waiting till after pollination and then spraying the fungicide then. Really letting that corn do its thing for that 10 day period just right before pollination and right when it is pollinating. If you do have a field that is somewhat uneven, like is the case in a lot of fields this year, basically you're gonna spray for the 75% of the field that's at the right growth stage, whether that's the replant or if that's the first plant or whatever it is. Spray for the biggest majority of the field and uh, go at it that way. With that said, make sure there are no surfactants in the tank. Take all the surfactants out of the tank and just basically be spraying the fungicide in the water to uh, reduce any, any risk with that application. As from a disease standpoint, in non-irrigated fields, disease pressure has been pretty low. Uh, the, the, the hot, dry weather has, has kept the, most of the diseases at bay. As we look forward into the forecast, it looks like the temperatures may moderate a little bit. And if we do happen to get into a spell where we can catch a rain once a week, we expect those diseases could flush. So the best recommendation, again, is to be out in your cornfield, looking at them, watching them, and then deciding whether to spray the fungicides. Second thing, from a soybean standpoint, a lot of the soybeans now getting post-applied with, with uh, herbicides to kill weeds. One thing to think about with some of the herbicides, some of the PPO post herbicides like Flexstar, there is a 10 month rotation to corn. So if you figure that out, an application at the end of June in 10 months puts you right near May 1st following the, the crop rotation label. So just something to think about. Uh, make sure you're following those labels so we don't run into any huge issues a year from now, which could be FOMA safe and carry over into the corn crop. And finally on wheat, uh, for the most part, I think everyone was pretty well uh, optimistically surprised at what the wheat yielded. Heard some extremely high yields out there. Quality seems to be very good, so hopefully we can get a crop that uh, flush through the system and get a lot of bad wheat out of the system and get back to a more normal wheat market. But all in all, I think everyone was pretty pleased with the wheat crop. Even in some areas where the stripe rust came in, we probably saw a little bit better yields in some of those fields and maybe what we had originally expected. As always, if you have any other questions, uh, please contact your local Pioneer rep. Thanks.